Picture yourself walking down a bustling street, lost in the day's thoughts. As you meander past a storefront, an advertisement seizes your attention it's sophisticated, intriguing, and seems made just for you. The world fades, you're drawn into the store, leaving behind your daily concerns. You've just experienced the magic of great advertising. And while it might seem simple, this magic doesn't happen by chance, it takes serious work. At the heart of this craft was David Ogilvy, the advertising genius who weaved science and art to create campaigns that resonated, persisted, and became legendary. His vision and principles have left an indelible mark on the world, shaping the advertising field forever. As you delve into this summary to Ovilgy on advertising, you'll unearth the bedrock of his legacy in five pivotal advertising lessons that are as relevant today as they were in the 1980s. Ready for the storyboard? Let's roll! Chapter 1 The Anatomy of Impactful Advertising Ever wondered why certain advertisements stick in your mind while others are forgotten moments after you see them? In the bustling advertising world, where agencies fiercely compete for attention, the difference between a successful advertisement and an ineffective one can be vast. As John Caples, a notable stalwart in direct response copywriting, aptly points out, two seemingly identical advertisements, same space, duplicate publication, similar design, can yield radically different results. The critical differentiator? The appeal they use to hook viewers. Imagine pouring millions into an advertising campaign only to discover it discourages sales. Well, this isn't a mere hypothetical, it's a reality many have faced. A certain beer brand's lavish campaign led to a dip in consumption among those who recalled the ad, and there's also George Hay Brown's Ford experiment with Reader's Digest. Interestingly, those who weren't exposed to the Ford ads ended up purchasing more of the cars. So, you can see why advertising has to be great if it exists at all, and it starts with some serious product homework. When Ogilvy first serviced Rolls-Royce, he spent three weeks extensively reading about the brand. This effort led to an iconic headline about its quietness at 60 miles an hour. Meanwhile, a three-week visit to Mercedes headquarters in Stuttgart allowed him to advertise facts that dramatically boosted the company's U.S. sales. Here's another million-dollar insight. Behind every memorable ad is an inventive, unique idea. A great idea chimes with the subconscious, combining well-informed insights with creativity. Think of the horse-drawn van for Pepperidge Farm bread, or the Marlboro Cowboy campaign these ads longevity and universal appeal underscore the power of big, bold ideas. Of course, positioning and brand image are also paramount. How you position your product can make or break its market success. Dove, for one, could have been a detergent bar for men, but it's now seen as a classic moisturizing solution for women. In short, your brand image, essentially the product's personality, must be consistently projected to build and sustain trust. Once you're versed in what it takes to create impactful advertising, you're all set to deliver through the art of compelling commercials. Chapter 2 Commercials That Sell Well Last Forever Crafting a commercial that resonates with viewers and effectively promotes a product is a golden skill every business aims to master. Several salient points emerge from Ogilvy's extensive insights, underlining the essence of creating advertisements that captivate and sell. First up, the importance of brand identification. It's startling how often audiences remember a captivating ad but entirely miss the product it's endorsing. Establishing your brand's name early in the narrative through ingenious tricks like spelling it out or playfully embedding it within the story ensures brand recall. In our attention deficit age, first impressions matter more than ever. Capturing the audience's attention from the outset with a visual surprise lays the foundation for engagement and leaves a lasting mark. With viewers exposed to an overwhelming number of ads daily, there's also a pressing need to avoid visual cliches. Instead of resorting to generic, overused imagery, embrace the unique and unexpected like the captivating sight of Merrill Lynch's herd of bulls in their memorable Bullish on America commercial in 1975, which didn't just catch the eye but vividly imprinted the brand in viewers' minds. Next, clear communication is crucial. 
In an era of multitasking, Ogilvy's revelation about a large portion of commercials being misunderstood serves as a vital cautionary note. You must ensure your messages are straightforward and effectively relayed. Demonstrating the product in use is an invaluable strategy. Visuals that highlight its features create a vivid narrative around the benefits and transformative impact it offers. This bridges mere product awareness to a tangible significance in a consumer's life. It's important to note that costs associated with producing commercials can be excessive but often don't correspond to an increase in effectiveness. Opting for authenticity, like leveraging relatable characters over high-profile celebrities, can sometimes strike a deeper chord with viewers. While methods and mediums have evolved, the core principles of creating compelling advertisements remain consistent. Focus on clarity, innovation, and genuine product representation to design campaigns that resonate and effectively promote your offerings. With this in mind, let's hop to our next stop, the ins and outs of B2B advertising. Chapter 3 Talk Shop with Great B2B Advertising Ever thought about how companies market not-so-glamorous products to other companies? Enter the world of business-to-business, -business, or B2B, advertising. It's less about the latest fashion trend and more about the nuts and bolts. But first, let's debunk a myth. Some folks say many industrial products are generic. Like, how different can one bolt be from another? right? But Professor Levitt of Harvard University once said, there is no such thing as a commodity. All goods and services are differentiable. This means there's always a way to make your product stand out. Meanwhile, Professor William K. Hall found that the big players, regardless of industry, could make their products sing their unique tune. Take Owens Corning, an insulation producer. They used to be just another commodity, but became everyone's favorite by highlighting their product's distinct color. Now they're the Beyonce of the insulation industry. Next, let's discuss how to get prospects to ring you up. In the B2B game, those who inquire are usually folks with a specific need and these customers typically end up purchasing products to meet that need within six months. So, what's the trick to get them to reach out initially? Keep it simple and convenient. Slap on a toll-free number. Toss in a reply card. And if you're feeling fancy, throw in a coupon to go with it. Here's an extra cheeky tip. Always wrap up your ad with your offer, address, and number. Why? Because everyone loves sharing a good trade magazine and you want every reader to get in touch. Here's another thing. You have to be a little nosy. Dive into those inquiries to answer the age-old what are we getting from this ad question. It'll give you gold for your next campaign. One innovative manufacturer was even able to slash their ad budget by 25%. That's something everyone could benefit from. Here's one last tip for your B2B advertising journey. When selling to big companies, remember that it's not just about impressing the guy who buys stuff. The big bosses, the ones who sign the checks, also matter. These head honchos? They're all about the broader picture, like cost savings. So, think about running two campaigns, one for the top dogs and one for the tech geeks who love the details. B2B advertising might sound like a tough nut to crack, but with the right moves, it's a playground of opportunities. Now that you've got this down, it's time to understand the role of research in advertising. Chapter 4 Research The key to lasting success knowledge is power and research provides it in the realm of advertising. Ogilvy believed in the might of research. Before coming up with creative caps and catchy slogans, he was often knee-deep in research, even going so far as to deliver a pioneering paper on copy testing in British advertising. Early in his career, Ogilvy often wore two hats. On Fridays, he was the diligent research director, crafting reports. Come Monday, he donned the creative director's cap, sifting through the same reports he wrote and making pivotal decisions. But a genius knows when to step aside soon, Ogilvy recruited Stanley Cantor, an exceptional researcher. After all, his mantra was to always hire people better than you. 
Research isn't just about products, it's a magnifying glass over how various groups, from consumers to newspaper editors, perceive your company. It's the pulse of your brand standing in the world. Imagine investing a hefty sum into a product only to find the target audience isn't interested. Ogilvy shares a tale of a $600,000 investment in food products tailored for senior citizens. The research showed that elderly folks weren't biting. The client's reaction? A curt dry hole and an exit. In short, research can save you from costly missteps like these. When launching a product, research also helps you fare against competitors in the eyes of consumers. If your product doesn't measure up, it's back to the drawing board or the research and development lab. If you love business, you know that servicing the world with great products is all about trial and error. Meanwhile, research helps you ask the most critical question, who's the product for? Men or women? Teens or the elderly? Research demystifies the audience maze, highlighting essential factors in purchase decisions and even the vocabulary your audience uses. It's like having a detailed map for your marketing journey. As Samuel Johnson, chief of Anchor Brewery, once said, promise, the large promise, is the soul of an advertisement. Through research, you'll find the promise that resonates, captivates, and sells. Be like Johnson, whose unique promise when auctioning brewery contents in his heyday wasn't about equipment but rather the dream of affluence that people could aspire to. With proper research, you're not shooting in the dark, you're hitting the bullseye for lasting success. Now on to the final step, understanding and avoiding the pitfalls of advertising. Chapter 5 How to Sidestep the Pitfalls of Advertising in Today's Relentless Flood of Advertisements Understanding Potential Pitfalls is More Than Just Handy, It's Paramount. Let's begin by journeying behind the scenes and coming face to face with the first pitfall, manipulation. Remember the concept of subliminal advertising from the 1950s, the idea that ads could sneak messages past you directly into your subconscious? Although James Vickery, a market researcher, dreamed it up, the concept never really took root. Then, there was Ogilvy's experiment with a hypnotic ad, imagine an ad so compelling it practically commands you from your seat to make a purchase. Recognizing the ethical storm clouds that could form because of his actions, Ogilvy wisely shelved it. But while these tales of manipulation are fascinating, the notion that ads can consistently dupe us into snapping up subpar products is largely mythical. Because here's the reality, a flashy ad might entice you once, but if the product flops, there's no encore. The golden ticket for brands? Simple, produce genuinely stellar products. Particularly for consumables, taste matters and consumers quickly distinguish the delightful from the drab. What's surprising, though, is the lengths some brands will go to defend their offerings, almost taking product critique as a personal affront. Here's another pitfall, misinformation in ads. Ever felt lost in a sea of slick slogans that leave you knowing nothing? Ogilvy's personal quest for detailed car info highlights this he was met with nothing but fluff. While many brands chase razzle-dazzle, gems like Rolls-Royce or Mercedes chose a different path. Their secret? They just kept it real, with unadulterated facts. Picture a world where advertisers channeled the spirit of old-school, door-to-door salespeople, prioritizing genuine information. The moral of the story is that the core of powerful advertising is authenticity. Great advertising boils down to a genuine story, connection with people, and trust. These are the aces up your sleeve when all's said and done. Final summary in the vast realm of advertising, Ogilvy's timeless nuggets of wisdom underscore a singular truth, authenticity, underpinned by research and a connection to consumers, is the soul of a brand's narrative. In a world cluttered with noise, genuine brand stories about memorable products resonate the deepest and linger the longest. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, Please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one.
And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, keep striving for success.